Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. This is Africa, and here is the Republic of the Congo. Now let's have a look, shall we? Like its neighboring namesake, this smaller Congo was also first inhabited by the Pygmy people, who foraged in the forests for millennia, before being displaced by Bantu-speaking tribes, such as the Bakongo. Larger villages arose, headed by chiefs after the year 1000, worshipping spirits and trading with contiguous tribes. The late 1400s saw the Portuguese arrive, who traded with the Congo Kingdom, bringing various goods in exchange for slaves to toil on their sugar plantations. It wasn't until the 19th century that Europeans actually took over the land, which in the case of the Republic of the Congo was accomplished peacefully due to the diplomacy of Italian-born French explorer Pierre de Brazza, whom the Congo's capital Brazzaville is named after. Thus the French got control, but de Brazza was upset to hear, years later, of the harsh and inhumane administration of the region under governors like Émile Gentil. The construction of the Congo Ocean Railway claimed the lives of over 15,000 Africans. Reforms were finally agreed upon at the Brazzaville Conference of 1944. That's future French President Charles de Gaulle. Infrastructure was built up, and in 1960 the country achieved independence, with defrocked Catholic priest Fulbert Yulu as first president. It's said that his robes were provided by fashion label Christian Dior. The economy did well, France helping to offset the budget deficit, but Yulu's one-party state system angered unions, maybe even more than his designer wardrobe, and strikes and protests forced his resignation in 1963. His socialist successor was toppled by a military coup, and his communist successor was assassinated in 1977. Communist dictator, the Sasu Ngesu, who ruled from 1979 to 92, and then from 1997, used a variety of tactics to extend his time in power. His re-election in 2016 was seen as fraudulent by many, including a militia known as the Ninja, who caused the government a few headaches in trying to suppress. Oil is the country's major export, and it joined OPEC in 2018. Congo has a medium human development index rank, so it's doing better than many other African countries, but improvements are still needed. But till then, it's bye from me for now. Bye-bye! <laughs> Thank you.